Welcome to a quick guide of Doctor Who and today, and right now it is Season 2 I'm going to be talking about. Season 2 was originally broadcast from the 31st of October 1964 to the 20, 24th of July 1965 and contained over quite a few more stories. Only one of them is missing, which I will get to at one point from the BBC. So, Season 2 started off with Place of the Giants, and this is an okay story. One of the not really good, not like really bad either, it's in the middle. Then we have one of my personal favourite stories of Doctor Who, The Dalek Invasion of Earth from... This one was broadcast from the 21st of November to the 26th of December 1964, over this came six parts, and this is truly one of the best Doctor Who stories I've ever watched. This was my very first Doctor Who DVD from 2005 I actually bought. Next we have... The Rescue, which which was originally broadcast from the 2nd to the 9th of January 1965 and it's an okay story again. Introduces new companion Vicky after the Doctor's granddaughter Susan leaves in the Dalek invasion of Earth the story before and this is one of the best companion, introduces a new companion and then we have the Romans, which is another historical one, and it turns out the Great Fire of Rome was caused by the Doctor. And this story was broadcast on the 16th of January to the 6th of February 1965. And this is an actual quite good historian one, I actually do quite enjoy this one. Next, we have The Web Planet. This one was broadcast on the 13th of February to the 20th of March 1985, and it is a fantastic story. I actually do quite enjoy Web Fear. It's known as to be very cheap and low on a low budget, but it's one of my favourite William Hartnell ones. Next we have a missing story, which is known as the Crusade, which contained over four parts and only episodes two and four no are missing. And for episodes one and three are how are in the BBC archives and the only way to watch them is on this Lost in Time box set containing quite a few missing stories between season two and up to season six. So, what I've seen of season the Crusade looks a good story. I just wish episodes two and four have been found already, so that way we can have the whole set complete. Next, we have after the Crusade, one another one of my favourite stories. The Space Museum, which was broadcast from the 24th of April to the 15th of May 1965. And this one was one of the best ones, I think, for William Hartnell. Quite a few, half of William Hartnell's stories are really good. There's only a couple of bad ones, which I haven't got to yet. So after the Space Museum, we had the chase, where the Dalek, the chase, where the Daleks actually have their own time machine and they're chasing after the Doctor. Ian, Barbara and Susan and this is Ian and Barbara's last story and this story was broadcast from the 22nd of May to the 26th of June 1965 and this is another good Dalek story I actually do quite enjoy this one it is a bit silly in bits where they're chasing up looked through time and space but you can't go wrong with it then we have our final story for this season which was broadcast from the 3rd to the 24th of July of 1965 and it is the Time Middler and we are introduced to another Time Lord known as the Meddling Monk and this is known as another histo history one where the but the Meddling Monk is messing about with time so that's it for season that's it for season two the last time is in here because of the course side you will see this in the next video quite a lot I think <laughs> So this, this is a quick guide to Doctor Who Season 2. I hope you enjoy.